All right, as we said earlier on, this Monday morning is one meant for royalty. And uh, yeah, she's baby. sitting right next mm. to us, a South African queen. She's an actress, a businesswoman, a human rights activist who is on the cusp of global domination, if not international, intergalactic <laughs> domination. Universal domination. Wow. Uh, and even though she's moved to America to star in one of the most highly anticipated sequels, uh, she's made sure, sure to remain dedicated yeah, so to her humanitarian home. efforts right here at home. And everybody across the studio, across South Africa, Africa Borakabo Para, let us welcome uh, the one, the only, <laughs> Nomza Mombata! <laughs> Celebrate! <laughs> you Lulate! Let me tell you! Oh. <laughs> Let me tell you, Nelson Mandela and all of them had imbongi, man. <laughs> I wish I could take you everywhere to be my imbongi. <laughs> <laughs> He's open, man. I, I've, been, I've been prepping my whole life for these, for these things. I, I, I think you would jump at the opportunity. You. Um, Great to have you here. I, I, the second you walked on set, like the, the smile, the face starts cramping, oh, man. It's oh. just so cool to have you here. Thank you so much for, for missioning through to, to be with us this morning. We absolutely adore you. We love the message that you are sending on, oh. on so many levels. The yeah. fact yeah. that you... Yeah, in your in your vocation, what you're doing on screen is just amazing, and I think it inspires a huge amount of people in the industry. Never mind all the the young up and comers, but you've just yeah. opened a school. Yes. What? I mean, at what? what point do you reach where you're like, okay, I'm not just going to kind of influence people. Right. I'm going to open a school. Yes. I'm actually yes. going to influence yes. people. Yes. I'm going to yes. do yes. that. And There's so many incredible things <sighs> that we need to do for for the world's most disenfranchised people, honestly yeah, yeah. and truly. So it's awesome. It's T cool. Take us through this process, because I mean, this is not something that happens overnight, over months, over... It, it's a real, I'm, I'm sure, painstaking, though, labour of love over some time to sure. find yourself in that seat, sitting in the very place hey, that you put together. Oh, that's me. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> that's you, girl. Yeah. Do you tell us about it. <laughs> By the way, that's the great art class. <laughs> so, I mean, for me, the, the partnership with Cotton On Foundation was very organic. It, uh, it was a, a marriage between just two minds who are really passionate about not just visiting schools in, in, in townships and then just kind of leave you know, it's like, how do we leave it even better? Wow. How do we build this community? You know, because a school doesn't just like, you don't just plunk a school and that's it. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're literally empowering a whole community. It's so it was, just, it was just yeah. like a very organic partnership. And of course, knowing just the, the portfolio that Cotton On has, especially yeah. the foundation side of things in terms of how much they do, not just in South Africa, but also in, 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 in the rest of Lovely, the African yeah. continent. And, and you've now established a link with this community, with the children in this community, that it will be everlasting. Yes. It is absolutely incredible. Uh, what, are, what are some of your, your dreams and ambitions for this community, for these children that you've now taken on board as, as pretty much your own? You, you're now mama bear to them. Right? <laughs> yes, I am. Um, so the, the beautiful thing is that it's actually in Wamash, which is the same township that I grew up in, ah. that raised me. Wow. You know, um, so many people aren't expected to come out of that community. So everybody who asks me, where are you from? And I say, Guamash, it's like, really? Yeah, yeah. And so for me, it's to change that narrative. You know how we, we want to change the narrative of Africa? Let's also change the narrative of our community. So Guamash has really, really come a very long way from the political struggles um, to the crime and the violence. And now we're saying that great people yeah, <laughs> come, come out of from, it. Come on. Um, oh, they <laughs> are. Yes, yeah, they yeah. are. I just imagine 15 years from now when one of those kids comes up to you, maybe in LA. I will bore like, my hey, eyes out. Right, I will bore right, my eyes right. out. Uh, so, speaking of LA, <laughs> I, I mean, I grew up with, with coming to America. So oh, yeah. man. It's part of my DNA <laughs> as a child. Um, you have been able to, that was massive news, obviously, in South right. Africa, landing your, what has got to be kind of like the, the role of a life. You gotta give us the tune. You give us a tune. Uh, let your soul hey. go. Oh. <laughs> about you, that? you are with him. Well, I told you, man. I, I grew up in this, this is. Do you get that feeling? Like, how much of a kind of a, a trippy journey is it to actually find yourself on set with these stars doing that? Crazy. Looking how far you've come. Crazy. From being that kid from Guamashu to to sitting on set amongst those great people, it was an out of body experience. It really, really was. I yeah. had to literally go home and just write, write in my diary <laughs> or speak and say, Zamo, this happened to you today. I know you're going to forget. Like, I had to oh, do those wow. things because I get so fully immersed mm. into the work <laughs> that I can't take myself out of it and say, look at your life, dude. 
Look at your life, so. I, oh, duh. <laughs> Hi. Come on, starstruck okay. when I do it every day, all day. But I'm sure I you really, kept it oh, together. Oh, yeah, for sure. Of course. Like, <laughs> Hi. I'm like, Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I remember speaking to you, I think it was about three years ago at the Polo, and then you were talking about uh, um, continuing your studies. And I was thinking to yes. myself, I mean, you are on, on such an incredible route in terms of your career, and here you are going back to studies to, to solidify that, which is amazing. And then came the decision to then, like, practically moved to the States yes, to, to continue yes, your career. Yes. How did that decision come about? I mean, it, it couldn't have been an easy one. Because right? it's a leap. It's, it's a huge leap. It's a culture shock to move from not only a city, but a continent. Yeah. And com fully commit, you know, and not look back. I think what a lot of people do wrong is that you keep looking back. And it's just like, when you commit and when you look forward, do not look back. And that's a message to anyone who's listening right now. Sure. Especially um, and in acting, I, Especially yeah. in this industry, because you need the tenacity, because you need the courage, because you need the self-belief. I mean, it wasn't easy. There were days before that call came in for the audition, yeah. You asked my managers. I was like, I'm done with this. <laughs> I'm going home. Oh man. Uh, so, yeah. But you know, but but then you sit again and you realize that the bigger picture is we have decided to do this. We have packed up our lives. Ooh. But also, I'm a digital nomad. Yeah, I yeah, can yeah. never stay yeah. in one place at one time. Honestly. You can live wherever. Um, yeah. Yeah, who knows, Harvard in a few years. Hey, uh, come on, girl. Hey, speak it into existence. <laughs> come on with it. When, when you incredible. come into, a, and it's a crazy day on set today, I'm yes. so glad that this is the, the energy and the vibe. But when you see Shaw, when you, when you come into this kind of space, what, what do you miss the most about South Africa now that you're out there in the big wide diaspora? Ooh, first of all, what I missed was the flavor in food, because let me tell you, <laughs> I was like, okay, we got to smell ah. some aromat. <laughs> <laughs> I need some wow. stuff over. Wow. Uh, I missed the food, that's yeah. number one, because I'm such a foodie, and it's like, oh my gosh, when as soon as I land, I need a spit bry. Yeah. Like, somebody yeah. invite me to your home, because I need, just like, also, it's just, it's also our, our we're just different. South Africans are just different, and when you travel the world and you come home, that's when you truly realize, Oh my goodness, you know, we we truly are made of a different cloth. So I missed the food, that was number one. And then I was I was about to get knocked by a car a couple of times. Ew. Because they drive on the other side. Oh. And it's so weird, when you're eh? crossing the street, you look the other way and it's like bam, bam, bam. And LA drivers are very aggressive. Like, bam, I'm like, oh my god, I'm just big new. cars. Yes. Oh. And yeah. it was like tires and stuff. Um, I missed wow. I missed all of that. And 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 when I as soon as I came home, I'm grateful that I get to commute, which is what I call what I do now. I commute between You're two countries. You're a global countries. citizen, yeah. Um, it's awesome. It's but you know cool. what? The country, <sighs> missed, the country missed you, and, and, and we're glad to have you uh, in this morning. And we're going to be chatting a little bit later on about some of the other incredible work that you're doing, <laughs> as if this wasn't enough. Or <laughs> oh, no. Uh, be inspired on this Monday morning on your Feel Good Breakfast show.